Now let's practice, 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 and work another problem. We have an order for amoxicillin, 250 milligrams every eight hours to be given. Our client's weight is 30 pounds, and we verify that it's an accurate weight and a recent weight. We convert our 30 pounds to kilograms by dividing 30 divided by 2.2. We get 13.64 kilograms. Let's work another problem. We have an order for Keflex, 250 milligrams PO QID, QID, which is four times daily. The child's weight is 50 pounds. Our recommended daily dose that we look up in the drug book is 25 to 50 milligrams per kilogram per day. First, we must convert our child's weight of 50 pounds to kilograms, so we divide 50 divided by 2.2 equals 22.72 kilograms. We do not round that, we leave it and calculate with it. We take our weight in kilograms, 22.72, and multiply it by the larger of the numbers in the dose range from our drug book. So 22.72 times 50 milligrams equals 1,136 milligrams per kilogram per day. Be very careful at how your drug book gives you your safe dosage. In this instance, we would have to see how many doses we're giving in a day or in 24 hours. QID is four doses per day. So we would take 1,136 divided by four. That would be 284 milligrams per dose is a safe amount. 284 milligrams per dose. The physician ordered 250 milligrams. Is this a safe dose? Yes, because the ordered dose is less than the safe dose. So we could calculate now how much we would give. One thing you don't need to try to do is use all of your numbers. That's the most common mistake in weight-based doses. Once you're finished and you have calculated the safe dose, then you look at what you have available and how much you're going to administer. We know that 250 milligrams per dose in four divided doses was a, is a safe dose. So now we can proceed to calculate how many milliliters we will administer. We have available 125 milligrams per two milliliters of suspension. So we look at our label. Remember, that's always the first fraction is what's available. And the volume is our numerator. So two milliliters over 125 milligrams, that's what's available. What do we want to give? 250 milligrams. And we're solving for how many, how many milliliters we will deliver. And we get 500 divided by 125. We will administer 4 milliliters of suspension.